Welcome back to Lens Studio. Have you ever wanted to create the effects like fire, rain, or smoke? In this video, we're gonna learn how we can create this smoke from scratch using Lens Studio. To start, first look at the particle template to see some example. Click on File, New Project from Template, Word, Particles. This will open the particle template. The particle template includes number of particle preset that can be easily exported and used in your project. Let's check out some example. You can disable and enable the example by the checkbox on the right side of the each objects in the objects panel. These are pretty great example that you can explore and learn from. Simply click an object, then in the inspector panel, right click on the material and press select. Then you should see the different properties that make the particle behave as it does. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this effect from the scratch. Let's reopen our CD project. To create the particle system, click on the plus button in the objects panel and search for particles. Click on it to add it to your project. Now if you take a look, you can see we have a tiny particle emitting in the center of a scene. Scale the particle object so we can see it. Then, let's do some customization to the emitter. To do that, in the resources panel, go to the particle folder and select particle emitter material. By tuning this material, we can get our particle to look like a steam is coming out of the locomotive. First, let's change a base texture to the texture that we made earlier. Click on texture field and select the particle texture. Then, let's change the velocity to make it feels like it's moving to the right. Now I'm gonna change the particle count to be much more than this. Also, let's change the life so it won't be seen for too long. And then, I'm gonna change the color in, so as the particle are close to fade out, the color will change to the end color. I'm gonna choose orange to match it to our visual. Let's do some tiny changes. Now let's attach a particle to our train. To do that, set the particle object as a child of the train object. Then, set the position to zero. Now, I'm going to use the 3D scene view to align the particle to the locomotive. Lastly, you can see the particle is rendering on top of everything. To fix that, simply set the layer to be the same layer as the train object, which in this case is 1. Amazing! Now you see how easy it is to create effect using a particle system in Lens Studio. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.